Boom! We are off with another episode of Booze Your Daddy, the podcast. I'm Dr. Alan Snyder with my girl, Stephanie Blue and True Dan Kona. What's up, boo? Thank you for introducing me that way, but you seem to have forgotten that I want to go by Yolanda from now on. Oh, you are definitely Yolanda. I forgot. Uh, yeah, no, it's that's everybody's going to call me Yolanda from now on. It is Stephanie. Oh, it is <laughs> Yolanda, blue and true. Are you still Dan Kona? Yeah, yeah. It, it didn't change. Still Dan Kona. Yolanda, I'm done with that. Stephanie, welcome to September. I did not know it was September until this morning. All right. Obviously, we're recording this a couple days early. Yes. But it is September, and 2020 has been the longest decade ever, but we're moving slowly through this, and I heard something very interesting today that I can't wait to get to, but I can't wait to get to my beer. So why don't we crack these puppies open, and then we can get into the stories. Let's do it. So I'm going to start because I'm so excited about this can. Your cans? Oh, I'm wait, excited not, about your no, cans my, as well. I mean, I'm normally excited about my cans, but I'm extra uh, excited about this one can. All right. Well, so, don't forget, don't forget, Stephanie. Uh, we're at episode 23, 24, whatever it is. 23. We, episode 30, is the XXX episode, and I intend to go full blown naked for that episode. Yeah. So. so, did we prepare everyone for that? So, I'll fill them in. So 30 Roman numerals is XXX. Alan thought that because that also means adult viewing only. So Alan decided, which somehow he got me to agree to right away, uh, that we're going to do the entire podcast naked. It's great because it's a radio show. Who cares? It is. But I will say that me and Alan are not going to see each other's tidbits. It'll be head up for me. For both of us, actual head up. I'm going Not, head down. You do no. you. <laughs> no, no, no actual. We'll just know each other's is nude and we'll just go with it and see how it goes. And it may go amazing. It may be a disaster, but we'll be nude. So this can has the coolest, I don't know, design that I've ever seen. It is called Gumball Head. It's got a picture of a cat smoking a cigarette. There's also a skeleton with wings on it. It's a wheat. My sister-in-law and brother picked this out for me. And I actually cannot tell what brewery it's from. Except it, it says it's not normal in a lot of way. Oh, Three Floyds Brewing Company, Munster, Indiana. Not to be confused with the cheese. I mean, or I, I love cheese, so beer and cheese. Um, yes. Right. But Universe moment. Universe moment. So that's what I got going on. Uh, Boo, what you got? I am working with something called Pills Mafia. It's a Pilsner made by something called Thin Man Brewery. Pills Mafia. It is not an accident that I am wearing my Buffalo Bills jersey. Bills. Now, I'm not a hater of all of the teams. There's one team I despise, and if you know me, you know what team that is, the black and yellow. Steely McBeam. Exactly. Hate them to death. I have lots of jerseys from lots of teams, and I wanted to wear my Bills shirt today because my Bills jersey. One, because the name on the back is – dude, what's my my shirt say? Um, I'm going to go with Alan. Yeah, what? What's my jersey say, though? What's the name on the back? What's what the your jersey also says is Allen, you dick. It does say Allen for Joshy <laughs> Allen, quarterback of the Buffalo Bills. Their fans are called the Bills Mafia. And mm-hmm. fantasy football season is approaching. Don't forget that, Stephanie. And I didn't. I have, we have a draft coming up. And sorry for the fantasy football reference. That This is the only one. But I am very, very excited for fantasy football season. Dude, I've, you know how much I love fantasy football, and I was actually able to arrange a family one. <gasps> and, and, oh, wait, wait, I got my invitation in the mail. Oh, no, I'm not invited to your family one. You may be, because we may have an odd number, so that's when I'm going to text you and say I need you to join. I got it. Am I, am I taking your grandmother's spot too soon? Yeah, no? grandma. No, no, no. Grandma Peggy, she is 
she's always unavailable. Permanently, she pick forever up and calls. ever. She's permanently unavailable. She's been ignoring you since the day that you met her. So uh, That was the day I, I met her. Do you know we have my grandfather, who my namesake is for, is buried at a cemetery in a town called Rosedale. And whenever anybody in my family will meet somebody and they'll say, oh, where do you live? They say, oh, I live in Rosedale. And my Aunt Marlene usually goes, oh, my father lives in Rosedale. Or she says, my father's in Rosedale. And she goes, oh. really? Really? Where at? And Emily goes, ah, we don't really talk so much anymore. That's, that's terrible. amazing. Because that it sounds terrible. like, um, you know what that reminds me is a quick side note is I'm going to name drop one of our friends, Mike Simon, oh. when uh, we were playing beer pong, like rapid fire beer pong. I shit talk a lot. I got mm-hmm. much better about like not inappropriately saying things. But you say, some- Stephanie, you say you should talk a lot. You should talk a lot like Hawaiian punch has a little bit of sugar in it. Shut up. No, I curse a lot. Shit talk. You know what? I only shit talk because you guys never give me the benefit of the doubt. Like every time we play beer pong, you're like, oh, you're doing good. That's because well, I'm fairly decent or I used to. But there was one time where I said something. I was playing against Mike. And he said something, he made a shot and I said something like, uh, your mom sucks, which I've gotten better about because it's not very nice. You made fun of Joan? I made fun of Joan, not on purpose. I just, it was something that just came out of my mouth and his retort was, no, your mom sucks. Oh. And then my retort was, my, my mom's, mom's dead. My mom's dead. <laughs> and his whole, his whole face dropped. And he was mortified. And I wasn't like, you know me. I can choke about that, whatever. He was mortified. And I, I had to tell him like a couple of minutes later, I was like, dude, I, it's not an offense, whatever. But I felt really bad. That was one of the low moments of things I've said to my friend where I'm like, you made him feel bad for absolutely no reason. So I'm sorry, Mike Simon. You probably don't remember that. But it was very memorable to me because i really hurt my friend's feelings who cares he's like my second favorite mike in new york city he barely cracks the top 10 for me oh my that is horrible he knows that's not true the other reason i have my pills mafia which there is a bill on there is it has all these little knickknacks that kind of look like crabs and whatnot and that's could they gonna, be tchotchkes they could be tchotchkes there's a little Look like a Lucha Libre cowboy looking guy on the thing. and Oh, that is a Lucha Libre. Yeah, we, but he's got long hair and a cowboy hat. And we will be getting to something in that sphere when we get to trivia. So let's go ahead and crack them beers. Release that cracking, Bo. Let's do it. I'm almost ready. There we go. <laughs> that was a little delayed on my part. I'm sorry. There we go. Lahayam. Yamas. Um, so. So, I saw something that has been trending that I have never heard about. When it comes to the slang, you know, I, I try the to The slang? Again, sounding like an eight-year-old man. I try to be lit AF, and I'm totes woke IRL. You know, I want to be down with the lingo, I, you know what yes. I sound? You know what I sound like right now is you know when like a white person tries to rap and people are like, "Oh, dude, you should not talk like that." I feel like don't. any kids who no kids are listening to this would say, "Oh my God, Alan, you sound terrible." Just don't say anything that you just said ever. <laughs> just take it all out of the tape because you sound like an idiot. But, all right, so but, you're trying to be you're trying to be one of the youths. The t- the youths, IRL though is a pretty common. Yes. Acronym, right? Yeah. Yes. Tim, Timmy texted me today and I, we had a conversation. He has owned Alvin Kamara in fantasy football, two fantasy football references. And he texted me and says, you hear he, he's holding out? And I yes. said, IRL? No, I'm sorry. Timmy said to me in a text, Kamara on the trading block. And I responded, IRL? He said, what do you mean IRL? That doesn't even apply. And I don't think he knew what IRL meant. Now, Timmy has owned and kept Alvin Kamara on his fantasy team forever. I said, I don't know if you're talking about the Saints or your team, Silent Assassins, who is, that's his team name for everything always. It's kind of a stupid name. And, but I thought he should have known IRL. There is something trending right now that I've never heard of called yes. No Simp September. Are you no familiar? No Simp September? S 
IMP. Now, immediately you think simp, like no symptoms of COVID or something in yeah. September, but that is not what it's about. And I had to do some digging, and there, this is a doozy, Stephanie. So, Yolanda, hold on to your bubblegum beer. I'll tell you that. Wait, should I guess what it is? No, just – Okay. Uh, so, there is something apparently all over TikTok that is called Simp Nation, where they post videos. The definition, simp, it's a slang insult for men who are seen as too attentive and submissive to women, especially out of failed hope of winning some – titled sexual attention or activity from them. Basically, simp is meant to troll young men for doing anything to get a girl or some attention that they think they should get is what I'm going with. The, you know, basically to summarize it, it kind of feels like it means a simp is kind of like a bitch boy. You know, somebody who's going to get walked over, going to do anything they can because a woman is asking for it. And yes. I thought... You know, the origin is kind of confusing because there's, it's not really defined. One person says SIMP is an acronym for suck a lot. SIMP is an acronym for suckers idolizing mediocre blocktopus. Blocktopus. Yeah, that's not what it means. That's some guy that sat at his computer for a really long time and tried to figure something out. Ice T has a song in 1987 where he says, I'm taking out simps and suckers where the meaning there was meant to be a combination of like sissy and pimps. So kind of like the weak pimps, like we're getting you, you weak pimps out the game, son. Yes, because everybody knows there's those weak pimps out there that don't deserve to be on the street. Get it's, them out of here. Yeah. The real men do it. We got to beat somebody. And uh, somebody else says like simp is just short for a simpleton, which yeah, uh, I can kind of see how that goes. And, I do not know where this is going, and this is some – but do we need another month? You know, women have their Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which I participate in. I always have worn extra pink socks and shirts, and I donate money, and I take that very seriously and don't know a single person that has had that. But men then started their No Nut November and now there's Stop – What's the, what's the No Nut? I thought it was Movember. What the fuck is No Nut? Do uh, you want me to tell you? Absolutely. Like there's so there's men like do like you shave one knot but not the other. Uh, so men do something called sober October, which is a big thing. That's where yes. you can figure out no not November is to not release your jollies in any way, shape, or form for the month of November. That sounds horrible. Yeah, master of your domain. I would be out on October thirty first. Yes. So. There's no not November, sober October, stop simping September. And where are we going with this? Like just jerk it July or ask? Oh, that I mean, so what would the next month would be October, no, no, November, December. Uh, I can't even think of anything. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a little, it's a little it's, much. It's too much, right? Yeah. But here's my question. Is it simp as in guys that do all this nice stuff just to get laid or yes. is it oh all right so you're just calling out people that are fake bitches that will do anything to get in your pants that is not, what it is and not I, the actual nice guys that want to do it no it is the person on instagram who likes a picture hoping that that instagram model goes oh my god brandon from georgia yes. i am totally gonna come give you a handy at some point yeah it's a very well, weird only thing. handy she's traveling all the way just to give a handy i don't know but this is all over the internet and i'm telling you it's going to be a thing which is i think so stupid this is really one of the dumb ones all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna go on tiktok because i allowed myself to start tiktok during quarantine uh and it's taking over my life so uh pitbull puppies love them and i'm not i'm not much of a like a fan of like guys that have like super ripped abs so me it's is just, what you're saying yeah no so i'm not attracted to you well yeah because i'm friend. drinking thin man brewery i assume drinking thin man brewery means you get thinner Yes, ex yes, it does the opposite of beer. So I've never really in real life been attracted to it, but there's like a couple dances, you know, just, you know, viral dances that they do on TikTok. And there's a couple and specifically for men that kind of take their shirts off or wear gray sweatpants, which all the girls know what gray sweatpants are. 
and I'm just obsessed with them. But it doesn't make any sense. And the best part is, is la some guy that I liked his video, uh, he put out a video a couple of weeks ago of him dancing, and he it fully admitted, I'm not a great dancer. But he looked so good doing it that I had to like it. And so you're a female simp is what you're saying right so, now. Okay. So wait, so I'm real female simp and I'm super thirsty because I liked his video. What it did was it told me when he had like a live thing going on. In, so, his, in his pants or on his TikTok? No, what on his TikTok. <laughs> Not on his TikTok. So on his TikTok, he had a, a, like a live feed going. I don't know what the fuck they call it. So I was like, I'm going to log on and see what happens. And there he is just sitting, shirt off, ripped, like amazing. <laughs> so I was like, I have, I, it was all thirsty ghouls, girls commenting stuff. So right. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be extra thirsty. And I said, dance for me. And I didn't think anything because there were a ton of people on this thing. And all of a sudden he goes, I'll dance for you soon. And I, that was my claim to fame is he answered my thing. <laughs> <laughs> but also I realized that was so objectifying of me where I was just like, boy, take your shirt off and dance. But I'm like, you know what? If he's going to take all his pictures dancing with gray sweatpants and his shirt off. Um, so that is my claim to fame for the rest of my life is that I got this guy to actually respond. Now, do you think he was actually addressing you specifically? Did he at you? Or what do you think that there were a lot of people on there being like, hey, dance monkey? There, no, no, no. It was, it was literally probably 45 seconds after I sent my thing. It was instantaneous. Okay. So there were, on, what there were is, only like a hundred people on it. Oh, that's not a lot. What is the girl version of a simp? Because you might be able to start something right now because you're thirsty, Steph. You're thirsty. Now the girl version of that is like a honey dick. Like you'll suck a dick from, you know. Stephanie, that is money, houses. That all is that shit. not what honey dicking is. I thought honey dick is when like you'll do anything for the good stuff. No, honey dicking is to seduce a person or to like to use them for your own personal agenda. You know, I was going to talk about this anyway because I use that term all the time, and it comes from the movie The Interview. Did you watch that? Do you remember what happened with the interview? The interview. It was with James Franco, Seth Rogen. They did like a go to. Oh, North with the with, with North Korea. Yes. yes. And the big thing with that movie was nobody had ever heard of it, but when they did the screening of it, apparently it was so bad they said we are not releasing it, which yes. may have been a marketing ploy, but. Yes. So I watched it. I watched it because I wanted to know what this yes. was all about. And the movie was horrendously bad. And as was. much as I sweat, I sweat Kristen Bell, James Marsden so hard. You love Kristen Bell so much. And James Marsden. I think James Franco, his confused act that he does, or is like, well, he just kind of yells and talks and acts. It's like me drunk on a Saturday night. He is, yeah. he's a good looking guy. Don't get me wrong. I'm very happy he's somewhat removed from hollywood right now for bad things but i i think he's the worst that movie was so Wait, he did bad things yeah he was supposed to be i think nominated for an oscar and then they took the nomination away right before it was like two years ago because of what uh doing things with acting students of his i believe oh got it the story okay. was I so for being a perv Got it. For, for abusing power, I think, is what it was. And I've heard some stories that he used to travel around to colleges and give talks and just slay. Just absolutely. Slay college. everybody. Student body on his body. All day. The budget for that movie was $45 million, And the box office only brought in twelve. I don't know if that's because <gasps> they didn't release it. So it, it bombed. But I tell people all the time, I will use that term, and I got honey dick the other day. I had somebody- You got honey dick? Somebody called me, and I get this about once a year. It is the, hey, Dr. Snyder. I'm like, yeah, hi, this is uh, Bob Van Jones from CBS World News. And I got to say, we really love what you're doing there on the Upper West Side, and we'd love to feature you on our weekly show. And I'm like, oh, my God. And when business Hell is yeah. bad, uh, yeah, let's go. This happens all the time. And they go through their spiel, and next thing you know, they're like, all right, so it's going to be a six-minute piece. When can we set this up? For four thousand dollars an episode, <gasps> I was like, "What?" Now, Stephanie, this is not the story. I get this once a year. I have now got it down to a process where I'm screening them. They start yes. talking, and I just say, "Time out. 
let me just ask you something because I got a call recently from a Long Island number and it was a very nice young girl and she starts her spiel. I said, hey, Samantha, I think you're really nice, but I just want to let you know I've done this before. I'm not going to be paying any money to be on any radio show. And she said, no, man, we literally just need content. We, need, we have radio slots that we need to fill. I said, you sure? Yeah, it's great. They signed me up. They, all right, here's going to be your day. I go on the radio and I talk to a radio announcer who was drier than the Sahara Desert. It was- So wait, what were you, talk, what were you talking about? Being, physical physical phys- therapy. Okay, physical therapy. Health and whatnot. And they wanted to have me on and give content. Where can people find you? And I gave them that. And of course, I plugged our show. Why not? Avi. And it went well. I thought, you know, hey, if you need me ever again, I'd be more than happy to help. The next day, I get a call from a very similar number. I was doing nothing. I was very bored during my day. And I take the call. And the guy said, hi. And it was another jerk face guy who starts schmoozing me. Now, Stephanie, do you know what my favorite thing in the world is? This is not going to come to any surprise of our friends. There is nothing more than I like than a compliment and specifically anybody who wants to stroke my ego because my ego barely fits inside of the Big Apple, Manhattan, New York City. I am totally humbled by any of our listeners, all of our listeners who get laughs. But this person who wants to talk to me on the phone, they gave me a stroking of my ego. It was a two-handed gluck gluck up and down. Uh, I tell you, this guy goes, hey, I listen to a lot of people who come on our radio network Alan, you got something, man. Like you could seriously do this. And I was like, oh, go on, tell me more oh, about me. What do you mean? Yeah. Tell me more, right. please. Uh, enough talking about me. You talk more about me. That, that's yes. what this conversation was. And he goes through this whole thing and he says, look, I rate a lot of people and you scored a 9.7 out of 10. Immediately, do you know what I said to him? Uh, where did I lose my three points? Where was my point yes. three? Where was my yeah, three who, who the fuck are these point three people? They're right. horrible. I made my normal joke to this guy. I told him, well, what was that? The Russian judge? Like she gave me a nine and everybody else gave me a 10? Because <laughs> they're always way harder. And Listen, he, they he are. goes on and on. And I'm thinking like, okay, you know what? Maybe I can do this. And he said, well, we're going to have you interview. And he dropped, he name dropped some anchor that I don't watch the news, Pix 11, who cares? And you're going to interview with her and we're going to give you your own show. And what do you think? I said, I, why would I say no? Like, that sounds incredible. He goes, now we're going to get you sponsors eventually, but first it's only going to cost you about $1,200. And dick. I turned to hit this guy and I said, uh, Hey, whatever your name is. I don't remember. I said, Hey guy, it's not happening. I am. First off, I'm a very specific person. Nobody is coming to me if they're not living within about 10 blocks of me, they're not coming to me from Massapequa, okay? Yes. And he tried so hard. And I said, I don't want to waste any more of your time. And he goes, okay. And I get off the phone and I just thought to myself, wow, I really got, they did the two part honey dick. Usually it's just yes. a one. Yes. But he was trying to get me and I said, no, thank you. And uh, that's my story. That's, that's pure honey dicking. And I wonder how much money they actually make doing that because it seems like, it would be the only person that would say yes to that is the same person that would respond to an email from like a Saudi prince that- so, Do you know I get those? I get the Nigerian thing. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Come on. I, 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 have, I haven't gotten them in a while, but I also find it so amazing when I see articles about people that got scammed by this. And I was like, you deserve to lose your money. You thought you were related to some Saudi prince that was trying to help you with your bank account information. Yeah, definitely. Like, all right, well, you don't deserve your money. I deserve it. Yeah. I'm going to, I get one UFC reference per show. There's the current, the current welterweight 170 champion is an incredible wrestler fighter named Kamaro Usman, who is incredible. And his nickname is the Nigerian nightmare. And every time I hear them say that, I think, Oh, oh, I get it. He's meant to scamming people out of money. That's what his yes, nightmare is. <laughs> exactly. exactly. He's awesome, though. I can't wait to see him fight. Trivia time? Let's go trivia time. You know what? Let's do before trivia time. I need to tell you about something that I've been holding off for like a day. Go ahead. Because it was amazing. So we've already talked about, you know, WAP. We did almost an entire episode about it. So... I, I got a recent, recently I got a better smart TV and oh, I use Mazel, thank you. It was super on sale. Um, and 
I use the app on my phone rather than a remote because the app does a lot more stuff and it has a button where you can just say like search for whatever, which is great. So I'm playing music on my phone and I didn't realize how loud it was. So I went to go search for obviously going back to last week's episode, amazing race, the new season. So I do amazing race and it says like, we can't find this. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense because I've watched all of these seasons. I realized that I had WAP playing in my phone and the search was, there's some horrors in this house. There's some horrors in this house. And that's what it didn't understand. And I should have taken a picture because, I mean, it was amazing. I, I honestly, I was surprised that it even picked up whores. Is it whores or hoes? I think it's whores. Yeah. They, so they it say it up. very like, there's some hoes in this uh, house. Yeah, I don't know which one. I think it's whores. But anyways, my TV picked it up. And I'm actually glad that it couldn't find anything. Because God knows what it'd find if the word whores popped up. Yeah, I don't know if you're... Yeah, that's rough. I mean, I don't have, like, Pornhub installed on my TV or anything, so it's probably not that bad. Mm, 26 but tabs later, am I right? <laughs> 27 tabs of Pornhub later. All right, so let's do trivia. You got this. All right, so today's trivia... It's going to be based off of a documentary that I just watched, a six-parter on Netflix. I highly, highly recommend the first episode. It is called okay. High Score, and it is all about old-school video games. Now, Stephanie, oh, I Oh, that's in my queue. I haven't yeah. gotten to watch it yet. First episode is fire. The next three are not, and I haven't seen the last part, which is like Street Fighter, and I hope to get to it. But the first episode is, is definitely worth it, and... I don't know how much video games you ever played, but the fact that you have two brothers, you should yeah. get, you should do relatively well on these questions. Dude, do you understand that next week's trivia was going to be video game characters? All righty. That was what mine was going to be. All right, let's go. Yes, I had, you know, Nintendo, Super NES, all that stuff. So through all the right. 90s, old school. I got it going. Old school. I want to do this today a little differently. I want to read the question and you'll get a little bit of time and then you're going to answer it right away. Okay. Got We're not it. coming back around. Got it. Question number one, debuting in 1972, most people would consider this system the OG of video Atari. game system. All right. That is definitely correct. Uh, I was going to tell you that in Japanese, it translates to, to hit the target is what Jack. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right. Not even letting our listeners have a second to think there. Sorry. That's okay. Question number two. Mario first made his appearance in what popular arcade game in 1981? Uh, like the actual game, not the system? Correct. It was an arcade game. Um, Super Mario Brothers? No. Do you want to guess again? Something a little older. Mario Brothers. Think about Mario's function and another game that might be related to building and plumbing and climbing. and Mario's plumbing business. Okay. The name of that arcade game was called Donkey Kong. Oh, really? Yeah, he's in that. And that, you're going to find that in episode one. I quickly wanted to mention... I played hockey my whole life, and every now and then you would hear a team that would have a name like Hockey Kong or Honky Kong, and most of that's yeah. kind of stupid. One team turned their jerseys. There was no logo on the front. They did a, like, a ape-style ab peck chest thing. Yes. Oh, my God. I've always wanted to play for them. That was so incredible. Only second to the best hockey jersey I've ever seen. I'm going to see if I can find a picture and post it. Somebody did basically a hockey jersey that was a German Lederhosen, like down to the <gasps> pants and everything. It is that fantastic. Sounds, you know what? That's what the Kraken should do in a year. What did you say? A year? Two years? Uh, so I think it's two years. They, right. def they definitely won't. Their jerseys are going to look like most teams' first jerseys. I've already seen it. They're terrible. They will be updated and replaced. The same way the Gold Knights in Vegas right now, our jerseys are terrible. Yes. And we'll look back in 20 years and be like, what were they thinking? Question number three. The Wizard. A 1989 film featuring Fred Savage and Bo Bridges, the brother of Jess Bridges, 
yes. was also was also the debut of what game? Do you remember um, the Do you remember this game? There was like a big tournament, and then this was the first time we ever got to see this game, and it was awesome. I remember wanting to play it. Zelda. Super Mario Brothers three, which which was first a big. First of all, this is a really freaking hard ca category. If you would have said Mario, I would have given you credit. Don't get snippy with me. Okay, this. You know what? Just keep going. This one's very okay. hard. That was a big deal, if you remember, because that was when Mario. The the picture is him with ears, and he had like a little raccoon tail, and that's when yes, Mario could start flying. Raccoon tail, yes. Oh, so now you remember that I tell you the answer, but you didn't, I didn't get it. Say I didn't remember it. I oh just you're giving God. me dates and X Y Z in history. Jesus Christ, Stephanie. All right, you, you know, know what? what? Okay, keep well, going, you idiot. <laughs> that was aggressive. <laughs> but question number four. -doo 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 -doo. What is that? Is that an audio daily double? Are we doing <gasps> these now? <laughs> yes. I am going to make the sounds for my favorite video game ever. And uh, you have to guess what that is. Yeah, you're not helping me out here. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Now, if this was, you're, I'm assuming you're just going to make this a true daily double, which means you're doubling both of your points, which I think is one right now. It's so. one. All right, let's, <laughs> wait, right. do I lose the one point? Yes. If I get it wrong? That's how that works. All right, let's just fucking daily double. Why not? All right, ready? I'm in it to win it. Uh, uh, duck hunt. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 duck hunt. Is that not the do, right do, name? Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking duck hunt. Of that, course it is with the gun. I freaking love that the one. The zapper. Man. How great was that? Seventy. I, I need to confess. Yes. I used to take the gun and get as close to the television as possible and shoot yeah. the ducks right there. Yeah, no, I mean, everybody did. Okay. I don't know if that was an everybody thing, but I definitely cheated yeah, so no, bad. I absolutely cheated. I love that. With the dog and the bip, 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 bip. Roo, roo, Why was that dog there? Yes. Well, he was, was, he, was, he was a hound. He was sniffing out the ducks. Well, I guess, but he got very sad when we missed. All right, so what do I get? I get double that, so now I got two. So that's great. No, you risked it. You have five. You have three now. Right? I had two before. No, you had you one said, before, and you risked one. The double. I had one, and then we doubled it. Oh, so I get two now. All right, so we're at three. Mm, maybe my math is off. Whatever. Let's forget. Whatever. About that. Who cares? Josh will call it out. We'll figure it out. Nineteen eighty-seven hit. I'm gonna name the characters. You're gonna name the game. Okay. Some some popular characters include Soda Popinski, King Hippo, Don Flamenco, Bald Bull, Great Tiger, Referee Mario. Oh, Super Mario Kart? No, that's not. No, no, no. That's not that late. That's not that early. Can you give me the first part of the clue again? Soda Popinski, King Hippo. No, no, no. Like, not what year? 87, the characters included the, all these people. I will even give you a hint. It, the main character I did not list. All right, so Mario was the referee? Mm-hmm. In 87. Who was super famous in 87? Couldn't be more famous. Okay, I was fucking two years old. I get it, but he was very famous the rest of the Can 90s. you give me like the first letter? No. No, I don't need points for it. Just give me the first letter. I'd rather just, M. I'd rather take the loss. M? M. First letter, first name. It's two names. Mortal Kombat? Mike Tyson's punch out. I fucking never had that. What? That was a good one. It was a good one, but I never had it. So that's why. But very nice job. I mean, I can see it in my brain hole, but. I don't think I ever had it. That was a good category. It was that was fucking hard. I was worried that you were gonna slay that. I think some of our friends are gonna absolutely kill that. No, yeah, they're gonna kill it. If but, you ask me, like characters' names and shit like that, I might get it. Do you know what um, I was gonna? Do you know what I was gonna ask you when yes. Sega came out with a friend for Sonic? Do you? He was red. Yes. Do you remember his name? Um. <clears throat> 
Is it to start with a B? K. Kick. Kick. Kickity kick. Knock. Knockout. Knuckle sandwich. Knuckles. Knuckles. knuckles was the, <laughs> I'm going to go with knuckle sandwich. Knuckles. All right. That was, that was good. That was, I mean, that was difficult. So the next time that I do it, I'm I not. You know, I got to be honest, Steph. I'm not really feeling, I'm feeling a little like. Maybe the sass of Satin Island rubbed off on you a little bit. Am I am I getting this? No, no. It was it was a fun category. It was. Listen, you've called me out numerous times when the categories that I've done were difficult. I'm allowed to say it's difficult. I didn't do well regardless. I just feel I like we've had a, Stephanie. We've had a couple of weeks back and forth of some. Yeah, we've gotten into it a little bit. Yes. Do you agree? Well, yeah, that's why we love each other. I do love you, but I I feel like we should just like duke it out at some point. No? Do you want Do you want to fight? I would love to fight. I'm worried that I but could. But like with the, like with our fists. What do you want to do? How do you want to? Because we need to come to a mutual understanding here. How do you want to settle this? Schoolyard? O'Doyle rules. What do you want to do? How are O'Doyle we? O'Doyle rules. Uh, ch- chains and and a sock full of like nickels and quarters. I mean, I don't know how else you would fight. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you either, and we're probably going to do it over Zoom the way we do all of our podcasts. But, you know, we've joked a little bit about back and forth. How would you feel about next week, schoolyard, 3 o'clock, we have a rap battle, and we let the fans decide? Oh, schoolyard rap battle I, versus – I'm I'm so ready. Yeah? I am absolutely – all right. 100% right. I am going to So wait, vote. can we be mean? Are we being mean to each other? Are we being nice to each other? You do whatever you want. I can take whatever you have to say. I understand I can't take whatever you have to say is what my concern is. Whatever, you'll have to so wait like, and are say. are you going to be mean? Like, you're not going to be like, hey, you suck and you're super ugly. Like, not that kind of stuff. I am going to say true things, and I do not think you suck, and I do not think you're ugly. Oh, thank you. Okay, so, all right, so true things. So we can we can rib at each other. Let's do it. All right. Our, you know what? It's been settled. Next week, rap battle. Rap, rivety, rap, rap, rap battle. All right. Well, Stephanie, let's wrap this up. Another episode of Booze Your Daddy, the podcast. Everybody listen to this. Make sure you're listening. Make sure you're subscribing. Download our episodes. Give us a five-star review. Let us know how you're feeling. Instagram, Booze Your Daddy. YouTube, Booze Your Daddy. I'm your daddy. She's your blue and true, Yolanda. Yolanda, blue and true. Daddy out. Out.